When you start a new Cinema 4D file, or a scene as they call it, there is a default size and duration. The default size is 800 by 600 and the duration is 3 seconds. Now these days most folks don't work in 800 by 600, which is 4 by 3 standard definition. They typically work in HD. So I suggest you create a new default startup file that uses an HD format. To do that, we first want to make a duplicate of the default file to make sure things don't go wrong in the process. So on a Mac, to find that, you go to Applications and then go to Adobe After Effects CC. In Windows, it's a couple more steps. So I go to Working Files here, and I'm going to go to my main drive, and I go to Program Files, Adobe, and then here we are at Adobe After Effects CC. So from this point forward, it's the same. Double-click on that. Double-click on Support Files. Double-click on Plugins. Double-click on Max on Cineware. Double click on this guy, and now there we are. There's the default file. So I'm going to duplicate this file, and the way that I do that is I right click and say copy, I click away, and then I right click again and say paste. And it'll say copy in my case here in Windows. Okay, so this is the original one copied in case things go wrong. All right, we can close this guy down now. And now we need to open up Cinema 4D Lite. And to do that, of course, we first open up After Effects, close the welcome window. Then right click here in the project panel and say new Maxon Cinema 4D file. I'm going to call it test and put it in my exercise files folder. Click save. That opens up Cinema 4D Lite with this blank slate. Now you wouldn't necessarily know right away that this scene is 800 by 600, but if you look really closely here in the perspective view, you see this light area here, that little rectangle. That is what you're going to see when you open this up inside After Effects, this 800 by 600 view here. You're also going to have a default duration of 3 seconds. Look down here, it's 90 frames at 30 frames per second. So I suggest you at least change the resolution to something that's HD oriented as opposed to standard definition, and also if you want to change the duration. So I'm going to set the duration first. I'm going to just highlight this by dragging my cursor over it and typing in 150 instead, so now it's going to be 5 seconds long. Press Enter. I'm going to drag this guy all the way out so I can see the whole timeline like that. And now I want to change this thing from 800 by 600 to something more HD-like. So to do that, I need to go to the render settings up here, that little button right there. Click on that. Now when you open up the render settings, you might not see output as the default view, but you want to click on output so you see all this stuff here. And notice your width and height are 800 by 600, just what you'd expect. Let's change that, shall we? There's some presets over here. You click on this little flyout menu there and go to Film and Video. And I'm going to choose HDTV 2997 here at 720 by 1280. This is kind of a compromise setting. It's not full HD, but I think it's a good size to avoid sort of overwhelming the system, but still having a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you're working in PAL, you can choose 25 frames per second. So I'm going to go to this guy and click on that. And now you can see we've got pixel aspect ratio is square, as it should be for HD. And we are set. So I'm going to close this down now. And now you're going to notice that the little bright area there has expanded to an HD format, a 16 by 9 format. Excellent. So let's save this guy as the new default Cinema 4D file. So to do that, I go File, Save As, and I need to go track down that folder again. So I'm going to go on down here to the main drive here, go to Program Files, go to Adobe, After Effects, Support Files, scroll down a bit here to Plugins, go to Max on Cineware, Cineware, and there's our default file. I click on that. So you can see it down here. I'll click Save. I'm going to get the message that I'm overwriting it, which is fine. Click Yes. All right. So now I've saved this as the new default file. To check that out, I'm going to close Cinema 4D Lite. Go back to After Effects. I'm going to right-click here in this empty space. Say New Maxon Cinema 4D File. I'm going to call it Test again. I'll replace the other one. And we'll click Save. If you don't mind replacing it. Let's see what happens. There we go. It's now the aspect ratio that I want, and it's now 5 seconds long. The new default file, which is something I prefer working in than the 800 by 600 file that is the standard default for Cinema 4D Lite. So from now on, this will be my default startup file here in Cinema 4D Lite. It may not be yours, but it'll be mine, just so you know that this is what's going on when you see this kind of a setup in future lessons.